Pakistan face India on India's home turf after seven years at the biggest cricket stadium in the world, Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad on Saturday. Well, Pakistan have never defeated India in an ICC ODI World Cup fixture ever. There have been seven of those meetings, but in the overall head-to-head -head record in one-day internationals between the two teams, Pakistan have the upper hand, winning 73 to India's 56 ODI wins against their neighbours. But in the last five outings between the two teams is something to go by. India have the upper hand winning four of those games with the one, the third Asia Cup ODI this year, getting washed out and not lending any result. Well, Dab Watmore tells us about the scale and magnitude of this match tomorrow. Give us a sense of, uh, you know, how big this fixture is going into the match tomorrow. I can just imagine the excitement and the a sense of expectation by everybody, um, particularly the people in Ahmedabad. Um, I'm sure that everyone else around the whole country, in the whole world actually, will be looking forward to this. And uh, we're less than 24 hours before the toss and the first ball ball. So look, I, I think that both teams understand the importance of the game. Outside of just winning points, it's a really big occasion to win against each other. And, and India will be looking to make it 8 <laughs> nil. So, uh, you know, I for one also is very keen to, to see this match. And um, the, the players themselves also understand the importance of it. It is one of the biggest cricketing rivalries. You've been their head coach for a couple of years. Of the team that visited India between 2012 and 2014, <laughs> What goes ahead? What goes in the dressing room conversations? And the what is the mental makeup that mm. is required from these 11 players who take that field tomorrow? What would you be telling them? Okay. Um, the, the main um, preparation points will be covered in team meetings. There, there will be a, a requirement for um, players to address what's going to happen the next day bowlers against batters, batters against bowlers, and a general um, short meeting to uh, sum up our general game plan. So apart from those you know, compulsory meetings that will keep your mind on the game, the challenge after that is to not think about the game, as silly as that may sound to some people. Because Given the intensity of these clashes in particular? Well, well, in any game really, but particularly in this game, mm -hmm. you know, there's going to be enough pressure out there in a normal game, this one even greater pressure. So I think it's um, the ability to erase those thoughts because you play the game the next day, yeah. not in the evening or, or going to bed thinking about all that. Okay, you know what you want to do as a bowler, you know what you want to do as a batsman, but that's the next day. Mm. That's when it counts, not in your sleep or in your dreams getting a hundred. Mm -hmm. What matters is getting a hundred in the game. So I think it's the ability to um, get your mind off it, mm -hmm. whichever way you wish to do it, whether you're watching a movie or reading a book, uh, having a good time with your mates and getting a decent night's sleep for a big day the next day. So right. uh, erase those thoughts and perform the next day.